who doesn't love a really fun hack on an already super adorable dress? You all, this is the new dress from Thoughtful Creativity that she just made for Project Dresser Girl 2022. And it's got some really fun pockets, but I did hack the neckline on this dress to give it kind of like a fun little detail up there. Isn't that cute? And it, it was actually pretty easy to make. Let me just mention that down in the description box, you'll be able to find the link to Elisa's video where she shows you how to put this dress together because you're definitely going to need that. So now let's talk about this neckline. There's a couple of things that you're going to need to make a neckline like this. The first thing is you're going to need some beads. Now I picked up these beads from Joann's and it's their pop brand. It's a rainbow bead and it's about three eighths of an inch wide even though this bag isn't going to tell you anywhere <laughs> where the actual size is. So you're going to need your beads and you're also going to need some wide bias tape. Now I had to make my own bias tape for this dress because, well, I needed bias tape that was going to be wide enough for me to sew onto the dress and then to slip those beads right on into my bias tube <laughs> for lack of a better word. Last year I actually made a video on how to make a whole bunch of continuous bias tape. It's super quick and you can find that video right up over here. But in a nutshell you're going to need three inch wide strips that are cut on the bias and then you're going to turn that into double fold bias by folding the two ends in towards the middle and then folding it again in half to end up with tape that is about three quarters of an inch wide, which is perfect for us to sew on and then slip these beads in. So now let me show you how to put it all together. So my dress is nearly constructed, um, but you can definitely finish this part of the dress while it's still, you know, just the one front piece. So grab your beads your bias tape. Mine is cut three inches wide and then I went ahead and folded it into double bias tape and some pins. I'm going to start off by just sandwiching my neckline in between the bias tape. Okay, and so this is what the front of my neckline looks like. I'm going to sew close to this edge, starting here, backstitching, and coming all the way around. And then I'm going to give it a nice good press so that it keeps its shape. So this is the part where all of our fun little beads are going to come into play, but you're also going to need some needle and thread, um, a hand sewing needle already threaded. I like to do a double thread on mine with a knot down at the bottom. What we need to do is start feeding all of our beads right on in to our bias tape. This is the look that we're going for. All right, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's so simple. So I have my thread coming out from the inside of the bias tape because that's how I hid the knot at the start. And I'm going to put my thread piercing through to the back. You see that? And then I'm going to bring it up towards the top here and I'm going to pierce it up towards the top. And actually that's a little far over because my bead is right here. You see that? So I'm bringing it through that top and then back through the bottom here. And I'm going around that bead and I'm bringing my needle back out the other side. Okay. Let me pull that out and then when you pull this tight I'm 
that's what you end up with. Okay? Let's do it again. And you want to keep your thread kind of tight on this. So bring it back to the back, front to back. Pinch the top around the needle or around the bead like that. And then we're bringing it back down and on the other side of the bead, pull it tight. Front to back. Pinch that top. And then put your needle back into the bias tape and around the next bead. And pull it all tight. Okay. Front to back. Pinch the top, put the thread from back to front, okay, and then back into the bias tape, and on the other side of the bead, the next bead. Pull it tight. And by the way, if you're having fun hanging out with me and all the other amazing content creators here on YouTube for Project Dress a Girl 2022, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that way you know the next time that there's new videos because we've got a whole lot of videos all month long planned for you all and that's going to include pattern hacks, new dress tutorials, and all kinds of fun things that you're not going to want to miss out on. And I think this is actually going to be my last one here. So I'm just taking this all the way back to the back again, and then I'm going to tie a knot on this side. So I'm going to pick up a couple of threads here, put the needle under it, put the needle right under there, and put my thread through that loop. And I'm going to pick up some of those threads and continue to do my knot. And that is what our <laughs> new neckline looks like with all of those little beads down in there. How adorable is that? So because I have my dress almost completely constructed, I just need to go ahead and attach my bias tape to the armholes here. However, if this was one of the first steps that you did, you can go ahead and finish off the rest of your dress like you normally would using Elisa's tutorial over on Thoughtful Creativity. It's almost like having jewelry already on your dress. It is so cute. Now one thing just to quickly note, since I used a wider bias tape, this is three quarters of an inch wide, I ended up extending the length of my straps just because I felt that when they were a little shorter it was it, it looked a little like it was on the stubby side because of the width that I had added. So I did lengthen my straps. Overall, I really think that this dress is going to be one that a little girl is going to love to wear. And if somehow you're watching this video before you've even seen her dress tutorial, 
click on Thoughtful Creativity's tutorial right over here. She's going to tell you about Project Dress a Girl 2022 and how you can make this dress yourself. And if you miss the kickoff, it's right up there.